It's officially over. We believed in love again, then it all came crumbling down. But at least we got a new breakup ballad. I want my house in the hills. Don't want the whiskey and pills. These lyrics went viral, with fans shocked that Miley had seemingly just outed Liam's supposed alcohol and drug addiction. Even Perez Hilton jumped on the bandwagon saying, if Liam does have an issue with booze and pills, I think that was his story to share, not yours. Could be a tad hypocritical coming from a celebrity gossip columnist. Sure, we're happy for Justin and Hayley, but we also can't pretend we weren't really hoping for these two to stay together. Jelena officially started dating in 2011, but by 2013, the relationship seemed to be on shaky ground. He said something, and then I said something, and then he said something, and I said something, <laughs> and I made him cry. <laughs> well, then that makes two of us. <laughs> we were all a little confused. So they were on again and then off again, but in 2017, they were back, and fans could not have been happier. Mom and Dad are back together. But not for long. The pair officially split in 2018 and fans did not take the news lightly. We're all still rooting for Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick. I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you! How dare you! Kourtney and Scott started dating way back in 2006. Fast forward three years and they called it off when Scott was caught texting another woman. But Courtney clearly doesn't hold a grudge as they had their first child later that same year. You know, you keep popping these kids out like Tic Tacs. I mean, we're going to have a whole family to raise. Then it was on again and off again. See a pattern here? It all sounds pretty dramatic. So why are people so desperate for them to get back together? Well, fans are convinced that Scott and Courtney are meant to be. The pair has three children and it's hard to deny their chemistry. I'm still on the market even though I oh. have kids. Well, I want to put my meat for sale too then. You should. So where do they stand now? Well, Scott's seeing 21-year-old model Sophia Ritchie and Courtney is living the single life. The pair are still really good friends, but we haven't given up on them just yet. We're going to be in each other's lives forever. Like, we are soulmates in a sense, you know, no matter what, whether we're ever together again or not. Last but certainly not least, we've got Taylor Swift and Joe Jonas, John Mayer, Harry Styles, Calvin Harris, Taylor Lautner, Jake Gyllenhaal and Tom Hiddleston. It's all very, very sad. When I find that person that that is, is right for me and is, he'll be wonderful, and when I look at that person, I'm not even going to be able to remember the boy who broke up with me over the phone in 25 seconds when I was 18. <laughs>